write the formula for iron 3 sulfide, we'll first write Fe for iron, and then sulfide, that's just sulfur, we'll write S. Because we have a metal and then a nonmetal, that means we have an ionic compound and we're going to have to deal with charges. We can see that the charge for iron is written right here. It's the Roman numeral 3. So iron has a charge of plus 3. Sulfur, we don't have any information on, and we need to go to the periodic table. Sulfur is in group 16, sometimes called 6A, and those elements have a charge of minus 2. So now we have the charges for each of the elements. What we need to do is change the subscripts so that the charges balance out on each side. We'll use the crisscross method to figure out what those subscripts should be, and then we'll check our work. So for the crisscross method, we'll take the charge, we'll put the 2 from the sulfur here on the iron, and the 3 from the iron down here as the subscript for the sulfur. And then we can get rid of this information up here. So that's the formula for iron 3 sulfide, but we do need to check our work. So let's put our charges back. We had a plus 3 for iron because of this Roman numeral here, and we looked on the periodic table, the sulfur was minus 2. So 2 times plus 3, that gives us plus 6, and 3 times minus 2, that gives us minus 6. So if we had plus 6 and minus 6, that equals 0. So the net charge for this compound would be 0. That makes this the correct formula. Let's clean this up. And there you have it, the formula for iron 3 sulfide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.